for today's Sunday case study. I'm gonna go through a case in which I see all the time this type of year while people are putting up their Christmas decorations. I have a 57 year old female who was carrying a large tub of Christmas decorations down some stairs and she fell and landed on the stair right here and she has severe back pain. Here is the results of her CAT scan in the emergency department. Here are the coronal images. And I'll go back through a little slowly so you can see. And then I'm gonna scroll through the axial images, which you guys should be able to pick up on it right here. So what's the diagnosis? What's the treatment? And make sure all of you guys stay safe while decorating your house this weekend for Christmas and stay tuned tomorrow and I'll explain everything. So let's go through the answers to the case study of a decorating failure. Remember I said yesterday that this was a 57 year old female who was carrying a large box of Christmas decorations down some stairs and fell and she landed right on her side. She landed on the stair directly right here and had severe back pain, so much that the ambulance was called and she was brought in to get checked out. Here is the CAT scan of her lumbar spine and what we see is right here and right here that she has broken her back. You can also see it right here on her CAT scan where this little piece of bone has been broken off. Now that little piece of bone that broke off is called the transverse process which is a bone that lies on either side of our spine. If we're looking at the spine from a side view, it's this little bone right here. The good news on this part of our spine is it's not really a critical part of the anatomy of the spine, but it does play a role as where muscles attach to the spine itself and control movement. So the muscles attach from here to here typically and control lateral bending. So when we twist our spine to the side like this. These types of fractures are actually really common, particularly in car accidents or falls. Now, the reason why this happens is from blunt trauma. So if you fall down the stairs and land on the corner of the stair, you can break off one, two, three, or more of these transverse processes. The best news about these fractures is it doesn't require any surgery, but it does hurt a lot because the muscle pulls on a bone that is no longer attached until it heals. Bracing is not critical, but it may help patients that are in pain to remind them not to bend or twist or anything which may aggravate the pain. I've also found that occasionally trigger point injections to that muscle can help in the pain as well. Other than that, it just takes time for these to heal. Muscle relaxers, anti-inflammatory medications, and sometimes pain medications can also help these patients recover. So any provider in the emergency department or primary care that sees one of these types of fractures can often provide safe reassurance that these will heal on their own. In isolation, these types of fractures are often non-concerning. However, depending on the area of the spine in which the transverse process is broken, it can be associated with other traumatic injuries. So if you had to pick an area of your back that you'd want to break, this would probably be one of them. Stay tuned next week and I'll go through another case and everybody stay safe this holiday season.